Thank you to all the panelists and to everybody that's, that's joined us today. Um, I always really look forward to uh, today and to the great presentations that we have every year. And in the short time I've been on the council, um, I think today we've, we've heard more presentations about the future and not only about the past, which is really exciting and invigorating. And I, I want to echo what many of my colleagues have said about, um, I think, the need um, the need to and the commitment we all have to rededicate ourselves to the work of racial equity that Black History Month really needs to be um, about rather than just celebrating the past. Um, having said that, um, I really wanted to spend my time uh, giving an overdue and heartfelt thanks to the, the members of the African American um, Heritage Markers Committee, and they're here, and if they want to stand, they can stand, but I really want um, the council president mentioned them, but Tina Clark, Charlotte Cofield, Pat Tyson, and Warren Fleming. Come on, y'all. And, and Anita Powell, who couldn't be with us today. Um, she's hard at work, I'm sure. Um, they have done tremendous work over the last two years now um, and put in an in incredible amount of time to get these markers that you heard about um, literally off the ground and in the ground uh, later this year. And I'm really grateful to them uh, for their work and to my colleagues uh, for supporting this and to Sonia and her staff for, for making such a great video. Um, I, this project had been in my mind for years and, and at the point at which I talked to Tina about the history that had already been done and the research that had already been done by her and Anita and others um, for years and found out that all this great work had been done and as she said at the time was just sort of sitting in a drawer at the end of the, the Duncan administration. Um, it was great to hear that later um, Councilmember uh, Branson who's here and Leventhal work with the planning staff to get it up on the planning website. Um, and that's certainly terrific, too, so that those accomplishments could be remembered. Um, but I knew a lot more people would see the rich history of our county and be able to celebrate the unacknowledged accomplishments of so many hundreds and thousands of individuals who struggled and, and uh, succeeded against great odds um, in, as you said, Gabe, in, in, in areas that we walk through every, every single day, and that by putting markers in the ground, we'd, we'd put this history in front of people not who were assigned to do a school project and looked on the planning website, um, and not people who are um, voluntary historians who chose to look this up, but the people who really need to hear this history and learn this history, people just walking down the street in Montgomery County with their families um, or driving down the street and that need to learn what has happened right in the areas that we, we live in every day by the people who help to build the county that we all enjoy. So I'm really excited, grateful to the whole committee and to the planning staff. Uh, Gwen Wright was here, Rebecca Ballo, who's put in an enormous amount of time putting this together, and my own staff, Andrea Nunez and Julio Cerrone, who've been working with them, to get us to a point where um, in, in a short amount of time, we're all going to get to go to an unveiling of these sites and really be part of telling this history um, to a much, much broader audience. So thank you all again for challenging us today, for making us rededicate ourselves, um, and I look forward to seeing you all throughout the year um, continuing to talk about the great work that you're doing. Thank you very much.